Hi, it's Alan again with episode number 19 uh, of 1,000 Evidences for the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. <clears throat> and again, these evidences are solid, well-documented, powerful witnesses to the fact that the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints is all that it professes to be. It's true, it's powerful, it's the way to uh, be able to return to our Heavenly Father in heaven. Uh, <clears throat> one thing I'd like to talk about today is uh, the fact that we lived before we came to the earth. Uh, we lived in a pre-earth uh, existence, uh, and I think um, <clears throat> uh, the, the LDS Church is one of the very few churches that teach this concept, if any. I don't know of any other church that uh, teaches that we lived <clears throat> in heaven with our Heavenly Father before coming to the earth. Uh, this sets us apart, but this is also a powerful evidence that the church is true. We sometimes refer to um, Jeremiah chapter 1, verse 6, which says, the Lord tells Jeremiah, before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. And um, and some of our non-Latter-day Saint friends uh, say, well, they explain that um, that could be a, uh, an indication of our Heavenly Father knew about us with his infinite foreknowledge. That's a pretty good explanation. That, uh, um, uh, However, <clears throat> he said, in the same verse, verse 6, that I sanctified you. And and um, how do you sanctify foreknowledge? Sanctified and ordained, um, it's, it's a little difficult to ordain foreknowledge. So uh, other scriptures would include that um, uh, we are children of God. Romans chapter 8, verse 16. Uh, we are. We were among all the sons of God, spoken of in uh, Job chapter 38, uh, before the foundations of the earth were laid, according to Job, uh, all the sons of God shouted for joy. All the sons of God. Uh, our spirits had to have existed with God before birth in order to be able to return to God at death, Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 7. Early, early Christians believed that it was possible to sin before coming to earth when they asked the Savior in John chapter 9, verse 1 and 2, who did sin, this man or his parents, that he was born blind? And the Savior said, well, in this case, uh, uh, it was uh, not either. Uh, this was so that the the power of God could be manifest. But he didn't correct the the idea that there could be sins committed before uh, before birth. Uh, God foreknew us when Christ was the firstborn among many brethren. Um, Romans chapter 8, verse 28 again. Um, the word called means to be foreordained in this etymology of this word. God chose us before the foundation of the world. Ephesians chapter 1, verse 4. God called us with the holy calling before the world began. 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 9. Uh, he promised us, and this is more than foreknowledge, God promised us the possibility of eternal life before the world began. In Titus, Titus chapter 1, verse 2. Uh, and he uh, certainly wasn't talking to himself. Um, the fathers of our flesh are compared to the father of our spirits. In Gen uh, Hebrew chapter 12, verse 9, um, uh, this indicates that we do have a, a spirit that's compared to our body. All of these scriptures point to the fact, and many more, that we lived before we came to the earth, and uh, we stand alone. Uh, this is evidence, uh, unique uh, teaching from the Bible that the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints is true, that we follow the Bible, and it is ironic that some people out there say, well, uh, Latter-day Saints don't follow the Bible. Um, 
Uh, very, very ironic that that charge is made. Stay tuned for number 20, and we'll see you then. <laughs>